WCNC Charlotte's Brianna Harper spoke to a man who was driving just feet away when this wreck happened and shares his word of caution for others. This might be hard to believe, but a new study shows less traffic, but more deadly crashes within the last year. And the video of that crash here on I-77 that you saw, certainly a near-death experience, but also potentially a safety teaching moment for other drivers too. A drive down I-77 South late Monday morning just before the 277 interchange. Driver Ben Omaro says he noticed traffic start to slow down, but then... Saw behind him there was a car coming up way too fast, obviously. The cameras on his Tesla catching this crash in action. That whole passenger side was from shoulders up, I mean crushed in. Omaro says he quickly sped up to avoid being hit as well and continued on to prevent a possible pileup crash. Later, he reviewed this video in shock. I didn't realize how bad it was until looking back at the footage afterward, or else I would have stopped knowing that that car went underneath and see the tractor trailer here. And he Personal injury law firm James Scott Farron typically handles car wrecks like this, but in the past year, they've seen less traffic, less accidents, but unfortunately, more deadly crashes. You know, fatalities actually increased by about 11% in North Carolina. And we're told that deadly increase is a similar trend nationwide. Experts say multiple factors are to blame, like less traffic stops by law enforcement due to COVID safety concerns, and as a result, more speeding and less people wearing seatbelts. We expect that there will be more car wrecks, especially this summer. You know, now that a lot of people are feeling safer to get out in the world. The best advice, exercise caution and keep defensive driving top of mind. I see things like this all the time. It never happens so close to me, thankfully. And we are still waiting to hear back from North Carolina State Highway Patrol to find out more about the extent of injuries in that crash and what charges the driver might face. Brianna Harper, WCNC, Charlotte.